Hello everybody welcome to number one doctor channel. Today we will talk about Pelvic abscess. A pelvic abscess may follow any general peritonitis, but it is particularly common after acute appendicitis 75% or after gynecological infections. In men, the abscess lies between the bladder and the rectum. In women, it lies between the uterus and posterior fornix of the vagina anteriorly and the rectum posteriorly pouch of Douglas. Left untreated, the abscess may burst into the rectum or vagina, or may discharge onto the abdominal wall, particularly if there has been a previous abdominal laparotomy incision at the time of the original episode of peritonitis. Occasionally, the abscess may rupture into the peritoneal cavity. Regarding the clinical features. General. Swinging pyrexia, tosemia, weight loss with leukocytosis. Local. Diarrhea. Mucus discharge per rectum in the presence of a tender mass felt on rectal or vaginal examination, which is occasionally large enough to be palpated abdominally. Regarding treatment, an early pelvic cellulitis may respond rapidly to a short course of antimicrobial chemotherapy, but there is a risk that the prolonged antibiotic treatment of an unresolved infection may produce a chronic inflammatory mass studded with small abscess cavities in the pelvis. It is safer, therefore, when there is an established pelvic abscess, to withhold chemotherapy and a weight pointing into the vagina or rectum through which surgical drainage can be carried out. Very often, even this is not required, as firm pressure by the finger in the rectum may be followed by rupture of the abscess through the rectal wall. Thanks for watching. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel number one doctor. With my best witches. Doctor. 8 Fomid.